Hello Pisces viewers, today I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so, um, what energy I get from you, just, just the overall energy, what do you need to know about your life right now? We've got pause, reflection, rest, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract. Um, looks like we have someone taking a risk. They've been trapped probably by a third party karmic situation, but they're going to take a risk for love and come forward. It looks like they're trying to get out of this energy. See, it's kind of like a sneaky energy, like they're trying to escape something toxic to come towards you. Uh, we got codependency, addiction, and clubs, parties, and social life. Okay. I think some of you might get a drunk text. I was looking at these cards. I kind of feel that energy there. I think this is a third-party situation. like your person is trying to pause and reflect and rest and go inward and figure things out and hear their own voice amongst the chatter around them and this soulmate is just so like she's just trying to seduce your person basically he or she is trying to seduce your person it's like a it's a past life connection it's also a soul contract that they might have together that needs to be ended it's this karmic cycle that they keep going through together and I kind of feel like it's like your person's trying to hear their own voice and this uh, this karmic is just a distraction in a block. Um, you know, your person feels, and I think they're kind of aware of you because they want to block you two from coming back together. And your person feels very trapped and very blocked. Um, and it's like this red thread here needs to be cut, but it's like he or she can't see the thread that's right in front of them that needs to be cut you know the karmic is blinding them from that and making it so they're just unable to cut the thread for some of you this is a thread you need to cut this is a toxic connection that you need to cut and you need to to move on from and choose true love over this toxic connection but the, for the majority of you i think that this is about your person and it's just saying they're blocked by the karmic connection right now but they're blocked by this third party energy but they are it's like an escape. It's like they're maybe looking at your social media or kind of stalking or it's like they message you, but they have to do it really carefully so that the karmic doesn't see it or they only have to, do, they can only do it in like certain hours, like late at night when the karmic's asleep or like when they're at work on their phone, they can message or call. But then when they're around the karmic, it's like they have to kind of pretend like you don't exist. And so there's all this silence between you guys for long periods of time. And then it's like random messages and then they go off the map again. Um, so it's like a very sneaky energy, but your person is trying to escape from this toxic karmic connection. There's just a soul contract here that they keep repeating that keeps going in circles on this like little merry-go-round they're on that needs to be cut. This red thread between them needs to be cut. They need to be, they need to learn the lessons and move on finally. But this is your person like being kind of sneaky and talking to you behind their back. Um, risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So they're still kind of afraid. They're still kind of intimidated by the karmic for whatever reason, but they are trying to find a way around it and they are trying to find a way to come to you. So we've got codependency and addiction, clubs, parties, and social life. So I kind of feel like you might get a drunk text. I do feel that energy where you might just get like a random message that you're not expecting. I also feel the energy of kind of being codependent on the karmic. It's like a very toxic, hot and cold, up and down, just very codependent kind of connection that they have. And I feel like your person's addictions might come into play. Like they might have drug addictions or alcohol addictions or gambling or sex it's like it's like the devil card it's like the devil energy here that i'm picking up it might be tied to like clubs partying uh social events like trying to get ahead socially um 
something shallow, something like drugs, alcohol, partying, sex, social events, you know, facades, trying to put on an image, trying to impress people. It's that kind of energy where it's like there's something here that keeps tying them to the karmic. And the karmic is using that to tie them down, you know? Like maybe they're like drinking or doing drugs together if, if, you're, if your person is like an addict. It's like they're, the karmic is enabling them. Um, and they're just trying to keep them. There's something here. Maybe it's like financial security. It's something, something that's just tying your person down to the karmic. And it could have to do with this past, with this soul contract that needs to be broken. Maybe this soul contract, maybe this will give you like a hint as to what, maybe what I was just saying about these two cards will give you a hint into what um, the soul contract is that needs to be broken between your person and the karmic. So there's that energy. For some of you, I suppose the third party might not even be a person. It could be their own addiction, like their own drug or alcohol or gambling addiction that they're dealing with that's kind of blocking and it's like they almost they don't know how to get past that for you but they're trying to you know with that risk with you know making taking a risk card that we got you know choosing love over fear they are trying to to take that risk for you they are trying to figure it out what else can we say about this connection what else do we need to know about this connection um what's the most likely action that this person is going to take towards you over the next couple weeks. What's the most likely action this person is going to take towards you over the next couple weeks? Okay, so this is an interesting read. We've got... <laughs> Yeah, look at all this. <laughs> We've got conf manipulation, deception, X, the past, and confusion and uncertainty, and then them choosing a path. Them, them, they realize they have to figure it out and choose between you and the karmic. They realize they can't keep doing this. Manipulation and deception regarding the X. You know, the, uh, the X, this karmic toxic person, is the one manipulating and deceiving them and making them confused. And so, let me have these cards I'll get into in just a minute. And so we have this. I think your person is just aware they need to figure it out. They need to choose some kind of path. I think they're just being manipulated and deceived. And it's like, look at this. Look at her behind. Look at her. She's got her blindfold and she's right behind her kind of just just causing this confusion. And it's like this seductive kind of energy where I feel like the karmic is hanging something over your person's head like they've got something on them like they're they're enabling them when it comes to some kind of addiction that they have or some kind of codependent issues that issue that they have and it's just like they have this history together it seems like but it's like it's not a good energy it's it's a very toxic energy it's yeah they're just being deceived there could be rumors going on too people lying about lying to your person about you and this is causing them confusion and uncertainty and they're having a hard time making up their mind they're like they're not sure if you're going to accept them the way that they are if they've got maybe they're kind of negative kind of got some toxic issues going on, on some addictions going on and maybe they're just not sure if you're going to accept them as they are and the karmic might be whispering that in your person's ear too like you know no one's else no one else is going to love you no one else it's a very toxic codependent relationship they have you know they might be yeah the karmic might be whispering in your person's ear like no one else is going to love you no one is going to accept you the way that i do you know, like you might think that your twin flame or your soulmate will love you and accept you but you know he or she is not really going to once they get to know you once they see what you're really like once they find out about this addiction they're not going to want you and so your person is very confused and they're trying to choose a path and I think it's just that the path with you is so risky. I think if there was certainty on the path, they have some insecurities and a lot of damage to work through. Um, I do, I get a heavy drug or alcohol addiction with this group. Ugh, hmm. 
And it's like the lack of the, their inability to choose a path is just based on their insecurity. They just keep thinking like they're kind of listening to the karmic to all his or her manipulation and, and all the, the lies that she's told him or, or, or lies she's told her or, or it could be male, male, female, female, male, female, whatever it is, whatever the story is for you guys. Um, don't get too caught up on gender. It's just whatever, however it resonates for you. But um, yeah, it's like your person wants to choose a path and they are wanting this path with you, but there's just insecurity. They're like, well, what if the karmic is right? What if no one else will love me? What if I leave the karmic and I end up alone? And then I'm dealing with this alcohol and drug addiction all on my own. Like, I just want someone to, like, sleep next to. I want someone to be there for me. Like, what if I do take this risk for true love and I end up not being able to match up to my true love or I end up not being good enough or I... or he or she just doesn't accept me as I am? Because there is a hidden truth, truth here. So your person might have some kind of, addic like, drug or alcohol... Or like gambling or sex addiction or some kind of kind some kind of devil energy some kind of toxic behavior or coping mechanisms that that you don't know about I think that they hid it from you because they wanted to show you their best side so there is this this hidden truth and that's why they're struggling because of this hidden truth they're struggling to choose a path because they just don't know they know they can't keep that a secret forever and they don't know how you're gonna react when it comes out and so they're just really kind of confused going back and forth between you and the karmic. They are vulnerable with you. They are receptive to you. They do want you. Um, I think they just want to take it slow. You are pulling them in. They just want to take it slow and get to know you better and, and slowly open that up because they're just not sure how to tell you about this, whatever it is. I think they're kind of just struggling with that. They just don't know. They just don't know what to say about it, I guess, you know. Um, any more clarifier cards? Yeah, they're wanting, they're spying on you, and they're wanting to make this love offer and commitment to you. Um, they're thinking about it. They really are considering making this love offer. They're just not sure how to go to, about it. And again, they have this codependency, this addiction that's tied to the karmic, and they have this soul contract with the karmic that they need to break, and they need to free themselves from finally. Let's see if we can get some final messages. So I just made these two decks recently. Um, I don't have my, sh I keep talking about getting my shot page up, but I still don't have it up. But if you're interested in purchasing this deck, you can, in either of these decks, you can email me. Um, my contact info is below in the, um, the description section and I can send you these decks. Uh, I also do private readings. If you want me to look more in depth into your situation, just send me an email. Okay, so what are our final messages here that we need to hear? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. So your person does have a secret from you. They're just not sure. They're really in their head about it, and they're really scared that once you know the secret that you're not going to accept them, or you're not going to see them the same way, or you're not going to unconditionally love them. And it's like they love you too much to keep secrets from you. So they, don't, they, don't, they couldn't have a relationship with you and have this be like the elephant in the room and just not tell you like they want to tell you they're just so terrified that once you know it that you're not gonna look at them the same and so they kind of go back and forth between keeping it a secret and wanting to tell you and just like they don't want to lose you but they don't want to hide anything from you either and it's like the karmic is just kind of safe and easy it's like he or she is just he or she is toxic and so they don't challenge your person to be a better person you know what I mean it's like with you you're like they put you on a pedestal they see you as so high above them and they don't know if they can match that energy and be good enough for you and with with the with the karmic it's like their toxic behaviors are justified with the karmic it's like their addictions their unhealthy coping mechanisms it's like the karmic is unhealthy and toxic too so she enables him I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. Yeah, see, again, just fear of letting go, fear of fear of you seeing that side of them and fear of how you'll react. 
Um, for some of you, there might not necessarily, so for some of you, the third party might not necessarily be a person. The third party could be their addiction. It could be talking about a severe addiction or codependent issue or pattern that they have that's keeping them tied down and they're trying to get free of it, but they're struggling and they're going in circles and they seem really traumatized. Like they seem really in their head. Like they're going through like a dark night of the soul right now. They're going through a lot right now. I often think about the last night we saw each other. And you came on strong and I wasn't ready for it. So maybe something like the last time you guys saw each other or talked, you said something that kind of stuck with them. The situation involves children and obligations or childish energy. So yeah, that could be a third party distraction as well. Having children and not wanting the kids to know about this. Like just having the karmic keep secrets above her, above his head. I looked for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, he's he knows he made a mistake by choosing the karmic. He or she. I'm going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. So like I said, dark night of the soul. They're they're um i think they're in the dark night of the soul and then they're going to come into this energy after that too where they're just there's there's a lot of heavy energy with this person right now they're really depressed really angry really in their head lots lots of dark intense mental instability and that kind of thing i can't figure out who i am or what i want so yeah very lost right now i feel you pulling away from me and i didn't realize what i had until it was gone so they're kind of recognizing that now and they're wanting to come in they're just, again, they're just so afraid that you won't accept them as they are. So that's kind of where they are over the next couple weeks is just going back and forth in their head, wanting to reach out. Um, whatever you said last time, it did trigger them. It was too much for them, I guess, whatever you said. And so I guess it's just good to have a balance, you know. Don't let them do whatever they want. Don't let them take you for granted. But if you know... If this is your situation and you know it and you kind of have an awareness that there's an addiction there but they haven't told you you can maybe you got because you got a, each person's situation is going to be different so i don't want to say like oh say this or say that because each this is a whole group that i channel so your situation is going to be different but i mean if you can find a very subtle light way to let them know that you're a safe space and that you you accept them as they are and that if there is an addiction or if there is an issue You'll get through it together that would be good i think they're looking for that clarity and they're looking for that certainty that if they leave the karmic you're actually going to stick by their side and get through this with them but you know th your person does have a lot of toxic unhealthy mechanism uh, unhealthy coping me mechanisms so keep that in mind that like i feel like they get triggered easily so it's like if you say the wrong thing it can like set them off and make them like distance themselves from you because they're in a very mentally unstable, angry, depressed mindset right now with this dark night of the soul going on, having all these tower moments, all this chaos, all this, this change going on in their life all at once. Um, they are in kind of a dark place right now, so you do have to choose your words very wisely and carefully. But if there's some very subtle, very, very emphasis on very subtle, very light, no pressure, <laughs> a very subtle, light way to let them know that you accept them as they are that would be good you know let them know that you're a safe space because they are really worried that you just wouldn't love them as they are and it's a it's a lot to do with the karmic's lies i would also try to go inward and meditate and try to figure out what this soul contract is that your person has with the karmic because that soul contract needs to be ended and i mean you could look into doing spell work and giving that energy to your person's higher self to end the soul contract if they want to, um, that kind of thing. But that soul contract does need to end because they're on a merry-go-round with each other right now and they got to get off the merry-go-round if you guys are ever going to be together. So that's what I get so far. Um, yeah, and if you want to book a reading or if you want to purchase either of these two decks or if you have any questions, just go ahead and email me. My contact info is below. And if it resonates, go ahead and subscribe, like, share me around. Thank you.